Hey there, it's Terry from The Quarter Acre. How are you doing today? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I just wanted to check in with you, but I did want to talk to you a little bit, just a short video today, about something that I love, a tool that we have used this year that has just really enriched our lives, and that is the audiobook. So, how do we use the audiobook? We use it right here in the car. I keep audiobooks from our local library on hand. Right now we're going through the Percy Jackson series and we are loving it. My seven-year-old daughter and my 13-year-old son both think it's great. He's actually already read the books, but he enjoys the narration, um, the way the narrator does the voices and the energy that he brings a lot. So we use them um, when we're driving. So if we are headed to go shopping, uh, an hour away is in each direction is kind of our big shopping hubs for stores like Walmart or Target or Lowe's or Trader Joe's or anything like that. We have to drive an hour um, because we live fairly rurally. And so we log, you know, for doctor's appointments and things like that too, we log uh, a lot of driving. And with COVID, sometimes we just go for drives or we head to the beach or um, something like that. So we use it in the car because I am not a fan of everyone putting on their headphones and listening to their own music. And my kiddos don't agree on the same music. The little one wants Frozen. The older one wants Johnny Cash. Um, and so, yeah, sometimes we can all agree, like on Creedence Clearwater Revival. But um, and a lot of times it's just an argument that I don't want to have. And... Having everybody kind of zone into their own phones or devices, I don't know, it just seems kind of like it just divides us up into our own little worlds and we don't connect. Whereas if there's a good book, it gives us something to talk about when we stop. So we're driving, we get to our destination, listening to the book, we get to our destination and we stop the car and we're like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Or, oh my gosh, back that up. What did they just say? That's nuts. Oh, I bet it's so-and-so or, you know, whatever it is, we really get into it and it gives us something that we can talk about, which makes us feel really connected. Um, I started doing this with my niece, not with audiobooks, but with books. So we both read the Harry Potter series through. I ended up reading Twilight, not because I was like, oh, I just got to read about sparkly vampires, but I got into it because it was something that she was into and we could share that. And there were multiple series that she would read and then give them to me. And then it was something we could bond over together. And I noticed that um, because as she got older, you know, from being a, a little kid, we were about 12 years apart. When I was 12 and she was one, it was adorable and sweet. And I took care of her like a little baby. And then as she got older um, and was a teen, and now I was in my 20s, I was no longer, and starting a family, I was no longer hip to what was cool for, you know, a tween or a teen. And um, having those shared literary experiences really helped us. And so there's no way my seven-year-old and my 13-year-old are going to be able to actually read the same book and enjoy it um, on the same level, but they can listen to it and I can listen to it and we can all do it together. And even my husband, um, who's in the car, you know, will listen into it. He's not as into it as we are, um, but it's nice that we all have this kind of shared experience. So I just wanted to share with you today audiobooks. Um, a lot of people use Audible. I have Audible. I honestly probably have like seven credits stored up because I don't listen to it on my phone very much. I really like doing it in the car um, through the CD player. And the audiobooks that I have are from the library. They have a ton of audiobooks that you can um, search their online database. Um, at least ours does. And um, they have... They, grab them from all over the county. Um, you can request them. You can request that books are ordered. I did not know this until I started homeschooling, but if your county library system does not have books, a lot of times you can call and they have like a form where you can request that they purchase books, um, specific books to become a part of the collection so that you can check them out. It's really neat. Um, they also have DVDs and 
I mean, all kinds of other resources. Ours have passes to our local aquarium when life is normal and, and you can attend <laughs> public places like that. Um, I think they also have like a, a telescope rental, which is really neat. But the audiobooks, like I said, are just awesome. And so they just come multiple CDs in a pack and we listen to them and we love them. And like I said, Audible and I'm sure there's other ways to um, purchase them, you know, through Amazon, etc. But I like the cheap way. Um, and I like that I can play it in the car and then I can take them in and play them in the CD player in the house. And um, I can also leave them home. So if I decide, okay, I'm not in the mood to listen to an audio CD or I don't want to listen to an audio CD right now, um, if the kids have lost the privilege, then I can leave the CDs at home and it just kind of ends the conversation. Whereas if it's on my phone, it's always with us. Um, and it can be tempting to, uh, to cave <laughs> and give them their audiobook because for my kids, as weird as it sounds, uh, our main punishment, especially for my son is taking away books. Yeah, that wouldn't be a punishment for most kids, but for my kid, if I need to kind of hit him where it hurts, where it's going to make an impact, like if I take away TV shows, he's like, meh, all right. If I take away video games, meh, he can live without them. Uh, toys, all right, whatever, I'll get him back eventually. But if I take away his books, he is not thrilled. Um, so, and that goes for audiobooks as well. So I just want to share with you how audiobooks help us connect in the car. And I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below how you're doing and what do you do in the car that um, is a fun activity for all of you. We sing Down by the Bay and the ABC song, like my name is uh, Ashley and I'm an armadillo and I'm from Alabama and I sell um, Ajax. You know, like we play that game. Uh, it is not fun for my 13 year old anymore. I don't think it really ever was for him, but he's he's a fairly decent sport. And so that's why audiobooks I think are such a big hit. He's glad to not have to uh, play the silly games. But if you have any cool, uh, cool games or silly games, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you have an amazing week. Be blessed.